These images, taken on October 3rd, 2015, document the final buckets of mud removed from the upper Hudson River during the six-year Hudson River dredging project, one of the largest and most successful environmental cleanups ever undertaken in the United States. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which supervised the entire project, called it an historic achievement that protected the environment and human health. GE's crews removed more than 300,000 pounds of PCBs from a 40-mile stretch of river, more than twice as much as anticipated. It took a world-class team of engineers and dredging experts to design and perform the work, and it wasn't easy. There were logistical challenges every day, and the project's statistics are staggering. More than 2.7 million cubic yards of sediment removed from 488 acres of river bottom close to 1.4 million plants to rebuild habitat. 500 employees working more than 5.8 million hours. Crews working 24 hours a day, six days a week for six months of the year. Nearly 1.7 million buckets of sediment. GE couldn't have completed the project without the cooperation of local communities, property owners, and residents of the Upper Hudson and regulatory agencies such as EPA, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, and the New York State Canal Corporation. Now that the work is done, some individuals are calling on GE to dredge even more. But EPA says the project has been enormously successful, and there's no need for more dredging. GE's work on the Hudson will continue, however. GE will collect water, sediment, and fish data to evaluate the effectiveness of the dredging project. GE will also begin dismantling the transportation and processing facility built to support the project. In addition, GE's cleanups of the Hudson Falls and Fort Edward plant sites will continue. Cleanups that representatives of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation say have eliminated the sites as significant sources of PCBs to the river. A significant effort is also being undertaken by GE to evaluate the floodplains along the river shorelines to determine whether PCBs are present and how best to address them. In the meantime, EPA and New York State have declared the Upper Hudson safe for swimming, boating, catch and release recreational fishing, and even as a source of treated drinking water. GE is proud of what we as a company have accomplished thus far on the Hudson and we look forward to bringing the same standard of excellence to the work that lies ahead.